Hey all, so this is my third lecture for introduction to NetBeans and uh, in this we're not going to do a new topic as such but we'll be just practicing what we learned in the first two lectures. So today we'll be just making a few more programs to understand the concept of input, process and output with the help of labels, text fields and buttons. So right now I'm going to make a small application a frame where we are going to input the marks uh, for a student in five subjects and we will be showing the total and percentage marks secured by the student. So to make a new file we go to file menu new file option and select swing GUI forms from here and from here I select J frame and I click on next. So when I click on next it asks me for the name so let us give it as result. So when I give the name, it opens a blank frame for me where I'm going to design the screen. So on the screen, I want name of the student. I want marks for the five subjects and then I want total and percentage. So in total, I'll be having eight labels and eight text fields. So here I write name of the student. This is a label. Then I take a text field. And I drop a text field over here. You can uh, change the size as per your requirement. I right click on it and I click on edit text to make it blank. Then if you want you can change the name of the variable as well. By default it takes it as J text field 1 like we did in the previous example in the last lectures. But it's a bit lengthy to write J text field 1, J text field 2. So you have two options. Either you give a smaller name like I give it as T1. So that rest of my text fields will be named as T2, T3, T4. So it's easier for me to write in the programming. Or you can give meaningful names to the text fields. Like I can give it as TXT name, TXT eco, TXT math, TXT bio, something like that. So it's your wish whether you want to give meaningful names or you just want to make it simple by giving T1, T2, T3. But you can change the name. And this name we are going to use in the programming now instead of J text field 1, J text field 2 and all. So I give it a name T1. So I used two options. I right clicked on it, went to edit text to make it blank. Then I clicked on change variable name to change the name. The same thing you could do it from the property window over here. Like there's an option text. There is another option name down. So you can change that. So I've made this label and this text field. Now what I want to do is I want to change the font. So that's also possible. Select both of them. Right click and go to font or otherwise there is a font option in the property window over here. I click on this font button. Choose the font size. I want it to be bold italic. I want the font to be Times New Roman or let it be this. Okay. So see if it looks fine. It's okay. Otherwise you can change it further. You can change the color with the help of foreground option. So click on the button in front of foreground. Choose the color which you want and click on OK. So this changes the color as well. Now I want similar labels and text fields for seven more things. So I don't need to draw them again and again. I just right click on these and copy and then I'm going to paste it. You can right click and click on paste for the paste option or you can use the shortcut key that is control and V together. That's victory control and V for victory. So you get this here. I want one more. So one more, four. this is for subject four, this is for fifth subject, then I need for total and I need for the percentage. So it's done. Copy paste is a very useful option while designing the screens because it saves your efforts to drag and drop the labels and text fields again and again. It's so just to save time. We are using this option and I'll be making three buttons this time now. So these three buttons we'll just name but before that let us change the labels of the, the text of the labels. So the second one is for accounts let's say. So I change it and write the name of the subject here. Accounts. This is eco. Then I have business studies. have maths and 
and English. You can choose any subject you want to write, that's up to you. And you can change the alignment of this one if it moves a bit. So this is how I have changed the text of those labels. Here I have to show the total. And in this one I need to show the average marks or you can say percentage. Depends. Okay, so we have designed. So labels and text fields are done. Now I have to write on this. Let it be clear. Show and exit. You can change the font and all of the buttons as well if you want. But let's say this is the design. So my design is complete. Now I need to code for it. I need to code for it. So let's go to show. Before we click on show, let's discuss like which kind of code we need for this. I need to read marks of five subjects. I need to find total and average. Name is not required in the calculation. So if I don't read it, it will work. So I need seven variables basically for five subjects and two for the total and average. And this total and average should not be changed by the user. So this editable property will uncheck it so that user should not be edit the text field. Okay, now it's done. Let's double click on show. When I double click on show, the cursor comes under this private void J button 2 action performed. So whatever I'm going to write here will be executed when button 2 is clicked by the user. So I want marks in five subjects. For that, I've taken variables as M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5. Then I need a variable for total and I need a variable for average. If we consider that everything is in integers, nothing is in points, so you can take int. If you think that marks can be in points, you can take double for that. Now, to read it, integer dot percent, and the name of the text field I gave was T1. So, I have to write T1. You can see as I write dot, I get the list of operations. I can choose get text from here and press enter. So, it comes automatically like this. And uh, the thing is, we don't have to read from T1. T1 is having the name. We have to read from T2. So I read the marks. Similarly, I can do for M2 integer dot will show you the list of options. Select parse int then write T3 dot will show you the list of options. Select get text and then this or the other option is I can simply copy and paste the stuff. So copy paste is always useful at places where we need similar kind of code. So here the code is same. The only thing that changes is the name of the text fields. So this is going to be T4. This is T5 and this is T6. And over here it's going to be M3, M4 and M5. And then we find the total. So total is going to be M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4 plus M5. So the formula is quite simple. You just have to add all the five values. And for adding, we use plus sign. So we write total is equal to M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4 plus M5. Now you need average. Supposing that every subject is of 100 marks maximum. So I need to find the average for five subjects. So that will be total divided by five. So right hand side gets evaluated and the result goes in the left side. That is variable average. So we've done the input. We've done the calculation. Now is the time. To set the values. So this time we're going to use set text. We have to set total. So I write total plus quotes to convert it to string. So it will be shown in T7. Similarly, in T8, I have to show the average. So we write average, it will be displayed. Just remember if you have calculated everything properly but you have not used set text, you will not get the result on the screen. So it's very important that whatever you calculate, you need to show it in the result in text fields. Then is the second button that's clear. Clear coding is always the same. I have to write set text and I need to make it black. So I write it this way. So t text is blank and the same thing should be done for all other. We have in total eight of them. So I've copied it and pasting it. Now after doing this, I need to change the name of the text fields. So going to be T2, T3, 
T4, T5, T6, T7, and T8. So that's the code for clear. It will make all text fields blank. And now there is a new button, exit, which we didn't have in the last program. Now, exit means to close the frame. And here you don't have to apply any logic as such. There is a fixed command which needs to be written here. That is system.exit. S is capital. System.exit. And in bracket, you have to pass zero. Zero means we are exiting the program of our own without any error. Otherwise, an error number has to be par passed if there is a problem in execution of the program. So we will be writing it like this only. Always. Now it's done. We should execute to see the result. So I go to run menu and run file option or you could press shift and F6 for executing the frame. So any of the two options can be used. Run, run file or the shortcut key is shift F6. Run project is used to execute that main function which is created automatically when we create a new project. We don't have to execute that. We just want to execute the current frame. That's why we selected run file option. So here is my frame. And here I enter the values. I enter the marks in business studies 92. Uh, the student is quite intelligent. Let's give him good marks in all subjects. Okay. Then we click on show. So as I click on show, I get the total and I get the average. I will not be able to modify anything in total and average since we made them uneditable. When I click on clear, it all becomes blank. And when I click on exit, it will close. So that's how we make a basic application in NetBeans. Like this, you can code for anything, anything where you need an input, you need to process it, and you need to show the result. Let it be bill calculation, marks calculation, or any other kind of calculations. Hope you understood how this thing works. If case of doubts, do write in the comment section and share the video with your friends so that they can also benefit with it. Thank you.